What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I did it again. <laughs> that is right. We have the G37. The exposure is a little high. Hold on. There we go. So much better. We got the G37. We have a new exhaust uh, going on. Damn, exposure still high. Hold on. And there we go. So we got the G37. New exhaust. I got another Tomei. There's currently not an exhaust on the car. Um, I actually had a ISR ST dual exit for a 370Z that I tried to put on here. Didn't really fit that great, so I ended up getting rid of it, unfortunately. So I've been riding with open headers for about a week now, waiting for this exhaust to come in. It is finally in, and I cannot wait to get this on. Unfortunately, the G35 is out of commission right now. Uh, the motor did start knocking after my first track day. I actually bought a G35 Tomei, which they now make, but I took the exhaust off my 35, test fitted it on my 37, and they actually fit the same. So I bought a G35 Tomei and it should work fine. So since the G35 is out of commission, oh, we took the headers off of my 37, which are ISR long tube headers, and I put them on the 37. Yeah, I'm super excited to hear the Tomei with the ISR long tube headers. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox the exhaust. Uh, it's a little different than the Z exhaust. I think the muffler tip's a little longer and I like that. So we got the muffler portion. We already know how the Tomei exhaust is. It is all um, clamps and springs. Uh, the muffler tip is definitely longer. I definitely love how this is designed. Uh, I actually like how the tip is a little bit longer. It kind of gives it more of an aggressive look, to be honest. So I love how they did that. We have our mid pipe, which is going to go between the resonator section and the muffler section. And then we have our resonator section, which is a little bit longer than the 350Z one. Uh, everything's basically the same as the 350Z. It's just a little bit longer just to fit the, um, the G35. Now, if you're new to the platform and don't know much about the Tomei, I'll go ahead and give you a brief rundown on how it works. Uh, as you can see, it is open right here. You do have a couple of openings right here. The pipes expanded just a hair. Um, there are clamps right here to hold springs. Uh, and there's gonna be a spring that will basically squeeze those two pieces together. Um, so we're gonna slide that right in there. So as you can see, it slides in. And then you can see you would match the springs right there and that would squeeze them together. And then there's also gonna be a clamp that will go around here for extra secureness. Getting a phone call. Hello. Hold on a second, I'm in the middle of filming a video. Okay, bye. Up next, we have some hardware. We got bolts, an Allen key, I guess some Loctite. We got our springs, and we also got a singular gasket. We have our silencer that we're probably never gonna use. I haven't unpackaged it yet, but this is the hanger for the muffler in the back. We got the clamps for the exhaust. Uh, there's two clamps um, between the three parts, and then we have the strap, which is right here for the muffler. I'm gonna go ahead and put the exhaust together, and I'll show you guys everything once it's fully assembled. All right, cool, everything's assembled. We got the muffler, we got the two springs on both sides, we got the clamp on here. Put the clamp on before you put the pipes together so that way you can slide the pipe on and then tighten it and then put springs on after. Same thing on this side. And besides that, everything is assembled. This is how it's supposed to look like and uh, we can go throw it on the car. So I did find out as I was assembling the exhaust that uh, we do have two nuts uh, on the stock Y pipe on our cars. We actually don't have a bolt and a nut. On the stock Y pipe, there's actually a stud and two nuts. So Tomei has provided two nuts to replace the ones for the stock Y-pipe. So if you have an aftermarket Y-pipe, you actually need to get a bolt and a nut. Lucky for me, I already have everything. So I do have a 14 millimeter that did go ahead and tighten these two. I believe it was probably a 13, probably a 13, 14 still works. Do have 14s on both ends of these as well. So I'll be reusing the same one. We got our gaskets. I got vice grips because I was too lazy to go look for a wrench. And then for this, we do have one bolt and one nut that we will be putting here after we take the cover off. And then we can go ahead and strap that up in the muffler hanger. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our hanger in that little hole up there. All right, so I went ahead and put the gasket. I've ran the bolt through. Uh, all I gotta do is add the nuts on each side and then uh, go ahead and tighten it up. I almost made that fall off. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, after final installation, the exhaust is officially on. Um, it literally fits perfect. Uh, I actually did end up putting the rubber band strap on just because it was actually helping the exhaust sit higher and my car's low, so I don't want that to scrape off. So we're gonna go and lower it. Everything's bolted up tight, everything to the wide pipe up there. Got two bolts, fresh new gaskets. Everything is already pre-assembled. Um, there is a hanger right here that actually lines up perfectly on the 37. I forgot to put it in there. So I guess we're gonna have to live without it. Yeah, let's go ahead. And drop her down. Woo. I'm so excited to hear this thing. All right, guys. ISR long tube headers. G35 Tomei on G37. For some reason, fits perfect on here. I'm so glad there's no leaks. I always have leaks when I put exhaust. 
lost on for some reason. That sounds good, what the hell? I got my beautiful girlfriend filming me for today. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> oh, it sounds so good already. I checked the fitment and it actually clears the ground really good, so I don't think it's gonna scrape really easily. Oh, it's so tame. I love this. Also, shout out Nifty City, uh, W Tesla screen. Haven't really shown you guys it since we got the car back, but we got it back. We got games. You don't got games on your car? Don't talk to me. <laughs> shout out Nifty City, use my code above Hunter at checkout. Save yourself a couple bucks on a Nifty City Tesla screen. Honestly, super great purchase. Has Apple CarPlay, wireless, you can do Netflix, you can get your rear camera on if you have one. You can download games, you can do like YouTube, you can watch movies. Listen to music, Apple CarPlay, audio is 10 out of 10. Also, since we're doing promotions, might as well do it now. Might as well do it now. Uh, get yourself some G35 merch. Got a bunch of different designs, link in bio for both things. Girlfriend's gonna drive the G. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that is so much louder on the outside. Whoa, what the hell? What is so crazy is that there is zero drone on the inside, which means all the sounds in the back, and like, it, it's like, almost quiet on the inside but like not necessarily quiet like it's loud obviously but like it like from the outside it is like a night and day difference on volume and it is actually so beautiful because you can drive it casually listen to your music or whatever and be loud on the outside and she's coming back that sounds so insane oh my god Oh, there's some locals that are out here that are checking us out. <laughs> I hope she doesn't steal my car. I've been doing this for a long time. If you don't know me, I've been through at least 20 exhaust setups since I've owned VQs. And this is definitely way above all of the others. I deadass just accidentally made the best exhaust you probably could put on a G37. People's out here watching us. <laughs> I think they like it. <laughs> They're recording. <laughs> Give it a couple revs. <laughs> Oh my god, 
God. When I tell you that is ear piercing, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they love it. <laughs> it was going like this the whole time. Girlfriend review, how we doing? No! You like it, right? Yeah. It's, it's great. It's so great. Ooh, she looking good. Ignore the water spot. I don't even know how I parked exactly on that. Well, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I don't even know. I get my iPhone used to make like the quality not great. Like you doesn't do justice. The mic was terrible. I'm on a new camera and it actually records good audio and there's no way that still does any justice whatsoever. My ears like tickle hurt. But yeah guys, ISR long tube headers, Tomei exhaust for the G35. Um, honestly, best combo. Uh, accidentally made the best combo to be honest because it fits fucking great. Literally 10 out of 10. There's nothing I would change about it. It is probably the perfect exhaust and it's actually very dailyable because it's quiet on the inside for the most part because there's no drone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did because wow I really enjoyed that. I guess uh, stay tuned. Uh, G35 hopefully will be back up sooner than later. We can do more drift content. But as for now, G37 does got a new exhaust and uh, I love it so much. And uh, I gotta fix the hood gap between my bumper and my hood. So yay. What the fuck my boot? What the fuck my car? What the fuck my